Hey students, happy to see you today. How are you doing? Hope you are fine. You are welcome to today's uh, study. Last week on business studies, we treated uh, printers, correction signs. We illustrated some of the signs which uh, can be, you know, used in making corrections of where printed copies, uh, on, on printed copies before they can be or on, on the uh, typeset work on the system before they can be printed out. Today we are going to look at the components of computer system under which we are looking at the differences between data and information. Okay? You know, the computer is there to take data, process it, then bring out the output, which is information. Here we have a uh, data. We said that data are facts, figures, or numbers, uh, or text. To become a information. Okay? Data, they are organized words. It could be numbers, it could be text, facts and figures that are being organized in order to become what? Information. While information is all is what is a processed data, is a fact or data, figures, uh, numbers, text that have been what processed. Okay? We can say that data are unprocessed uh, uh, figures or numbers while information are processed what data. Another example to illustrate the difference between data and the information is uh, one plus one is an example of data. When you key one plus one into the system, you have sent an instruction to the system which is in form of those data one plus one. Then when it gives you two, when two comes out of the screen of the computer system, it becomes the output. The information, which is the process, which means that that one plus one is the key in as input or as the data has been processed to give us what to come out as two. Okay, so let's look at the stages of computer system. Stages of computer system: we have data, we have processing, and we have information. Meaning that when data is inputted, it is being processed in the CPU processing unit or the processor, and then what comes out to be the what information. Then, the short notes we have under data processing, we said that data processing refers to what all the activities which, when carried out, change data from its original form to a new desired uh, form that is useful. Just like our illustration here, okay? When one plus one was sent into the system as a data, what happens? The, the processing unit or the processor, the CPU, processes it within the uh, uh, system unit, which cannot be seen. And then what you will see on the screen or the monitor becomes two, okay? So all the activities that are carried out when data is repeated in the system to change that data from its original form to a desired useful form is what we call the data processing. Then another example of data is what? The number of houses in an area is another example of data. Then when that number of houses in an area imputed in the system has been processed by the system, you find out that it will now be it will now group that number of houses into into what the number of bungalows, duplex, six, three-story building, two-story building, and so on and so forth that are in that area. When we have such output or information, it, it means that you know data has been uh, transformed or processed into information. Okay, the data that is sent or received by the computer for processing is what we call input. While what comes out at the end of the processing is what we call output, which is the information. Okay, from the computer, okay, for the computer to be able to process data, what happens? It needs specific instructions on what to do. And this specific instruction on what to do, instructions which tells the computer, the computer what to do is what we call the programs. And we said that these programs are stored into the computer and are not seen. Okay, then the another uh, subtopic we are treating is what the computer system and its units. Computer system and its what units? Okay. Of 
computer system can now be grouped into what? Into three. When it is grouped into three, we have input devices. Under input devices, what are the examples? Input devices are simply those devices that help us to key data into the system. These are input devices. Example, we have the keyboard. Okay? The keyboard, which contains alphabet. It contains a... Uh, uh, alphabet letters and other uh, instructions on it. Then we have the mouse. The mouse is another word, is another input device which helps to move the cursor. You know, the cursor is simply the word, the screen indicator on the system. It comes in form of slash, which shows where a particular change is to be made on the screen. Then we have the scanner, which we use in a uh, we have the scanner which we use in what? In entering photographic data into the computer. Okay, it could be white or black uh, scanner. It could be black and white or colored scanner. Then we have the joystick. Another example of input device is what? The joystick which is used in playing a game on the computer. Then the next one is what? The output devices, which are those devices that helps in a bringing out the information we need. Information received from the computer is called what? Output. So what are the output devices? We have the monitor or the screen, just like the television set. It is like the television set where the, the activities of the computer is being there displayed. We have the what? Printer. Printer is used to produce the results of processed data in a readable word form. We use Okay, monitor, we have monitor, which is a, um, we have the monitor, we said monitor, the monitor is like what, like TV set, Then we have the what? The printer. It is used to produce the result. One printer is used to produce the result of the processed result of result of the processed data in into in a readable word in a readable form that is the work of the printer okay? and the output of the printer is called the printout the output of the printer the output of the printer is a uh, is what it's called a uh, it's called the printout. Then let's look at the system unit. The system unit, which is the number three group. Uh, we said we are the five parts of the computer uh, system is grouped into what three input devices, output devices, and system units. We said that the system unit is what is is a big rectangular shaped uh, box. It is a big rectangular rectangular shaped box that can be placed on the desk. Can be placed on the desk, on the desk or floor. Okay? On the floor or on the desk to which other devices can be connected, uh, have, uh, in which other devices are connected by means of the okay? Then in the system unit, we have the main memory and the word CPU. 
the main memory stores the data, while the CPU is the brain of the computer, where it is also called the processor, where the what, the activities, processing activities take place, okay? Then let's quickly look at the cares of computer system. Number one, always keep your computer on a strong, well uh, balanced table. Always keep the computer in a cool, dry place. Do not throw stones or balls or hard objects on your computer. Always unplug the computer from the electricity when it is not in use. Always press the keyboard gently, okay? Cover the system or the computer when it is not in use and clean the computer with dust-free words, uh, dust-free clothes. Let's quickly take this assignment home. Let's quickly take this assignment home to be submitted in our next, next class during uh, using the online uh, the website as usual assignment let's quickly take down the assignment okay number one define data number two why is data different from information number three name and describe 